Hello there, my name is Rick. Ciao, my name's Millie. And this is episode five. Cinque. Of season four. Quattro. Of Yonks Ago. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting some razzle dazzle for 2023. This is Yonks Ago coming into your ears. Now, what are Yonks? They're kind of like years. Just a father and a daughter who want to know all about some people from Yonks Ago. Interesting people who did interesting stuff, but about whom we don't know enough. So we're going to dig deep and find it all out. Yonky doodlers know what we're all about. Yonks Ago. Hey, ho. Oh, here we go. First podcast of... 20... 2023! What about it? Yeah, you know. I was trying to remember how to say it in Italian, but it's like... Due mille venti. If you had said it with confidence, I would have believed you. But at the moment, I feel like well, you don't know what you're talking 2003 about. 2003 is like... It's like... Due mille tre. It's like, <laughs> it's like so good. Yeah. Um, but then like the 1900s, yeah. you've got to say like a lot of words. Yeah, sure. Like but we're French... not in the 1900s now. I know. So it's like the Fr- French words, like yeah, it's so complicated for no reason. It's I like know ten plus forty. That's why the English five. were always invading because they're like your <laughs> yeah. words are too complicated. Yeah. Let Shut us up take with over. Long ass words. <laughs> <laughs> um, but lucky they did. Otherwise, we'd have very little to talk about during yeah. this uh, during you know, this whole season. And you know who speaks French? Uh, Joan of Arc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who we are learning much about. Yeah. Um, Let's learn. Uh, I mean, we can learn. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Uh, 2023, you're all business. Mm-hmm. I like it. Get down. You've spent a brief amount of time musing about the translation of the number 2023. And I didn't now... spend any time. <laughs> I just thought about it. Yeah. And then I said, I was thinking. The briefest of moments you've spent musing. Uh, I just want to make And that. now you want all business. Yeah. <laughs> it's not dilly it's dally. What I got. It's 2023. What? Okay. Yeah, 2023. Like... It probably translates to something somewhere. Yeah. Ooh, I hate it. Let's get down to business. <laughs> I like it. Nothing else to talk about. <laughs> no, but I've, I've found something. Yeah. I've stretched this what? meaningless bit. Oh, you're just talking about That's what? Right. Again, exactly. Layers. That's right. Isn't, and now we're talking about, talking about, talking about We're it. looping. Yeah. <laughs> we've got the looper pedal on. Isn't that this, crazy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, can we do it for half an hour? I mean, my heart says I mean, yes. We could. But yeah. we're not going to. Yeah. Unless <laughs> we don't, which we won't. Except for this one episode yeah. where we do. <laughs> No, because Joan of Arc's far too interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, we can't get through the whole of season three, Donny B, without looping and then waste a whole episode of Joan of Arc looping. That would be cruel. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just saying we didn't we didn't waste an episode of Donny B when, I mean, honestly, we could have. Oh, I'm getting you. I'm, yeah, you I know, didn't understand. No, who would have noticed? Yeah. Are they looping I mean, we, or are they saying cricket stats? Who can tell? We should have just like not done that season. <laughs> hey, sometimes you... No, because I think it makes me appreciate... Um, first of all, I did like learning what a villain no, he was. No, no, because the first half was really fun, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like the child life. I always love learning about the child yeah. life. And we didn't get that much for Joan of Arc. No, so, not much is known. It was a long... It uh, was yonks, yonks ago. ago. But that, so many fun stuff happens not in the yeah. child... Y- y- adolescence. Yeah. Um, I was going to no, say you're child right. life. That doesn't make sense. Does uh, it? So apologies uh, to anyone, uh, any fans of season three out there. We did enjoy large, large portions. Yeah, um, Archie Jackson episode up there. <laughs> yeah, hundred uh, percent. Could he have his own spin-off season? Time will tell. Although we delved we, pretty deep. We yeah, he didn't we live yonks- that long. <laughs> we 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 pseudo yonked him. Yeah, he's been he's been mini yonked. Yeah, there's always a. Have we done a mini yonks in every season? We did, didn't we? Harry Power. Yeah. Nancy Way. There's always something to find out who about. We, who do we do in Nancy I don't know Way? if we have in this one. We've done little little bits. Yeah. Well, usually we Jeremy like, Johns, we you, found out about. Usually we like pick and we'd be like, oh, this character's interesting. Mm. Let's do a full. But there's not many people. We'll not, find. Not many top class characters. I mean, we've got, you know, Jay Metz. Yeah, but we, we've created their whole and persona. Patrick de Boulanger. <laughs> yeah. Who I have looked into a little bit, but there's not much. There's yeah, I don't. Scant. I don't want to know anything about them. Just <laughs> no. the idea of them in my head. Yeah, and we have created our own yeah. uh, Jeremy Johns, of course. Yeah. Um, the third, the third tier. The third. Pillar. I just knew that Archie Jackson and Harry Power were going to be interesting IRL, and they were. Yeah. 
And they had cool names. Um, you, indeed, they did. <laughs> uh, so now it is time to continue on our Joan of Arc journey. Let's do it. The Joan journey. The that Joni. Is, that is alliteration. I was going to say articulation. <laughs> I'm not a. My brain jumbled and stuff. That's 2023. You don't need your brain in working order this year, yeah. surely. I forgot. I found the world. Wor- you found the world. <laughs> yeah. You found the world. <laughs> I found Narnia. The world. Uh, yeah. Narnia I, much? Yeah, I went through the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. And it was. It and w- I have a wardrobe, so I couldn't say it. And yeah, oh yeah, but you do have a fridge. <laughs> and was, I mean, I was right, I'm looking at it. And when people come fact checking your Narnia <laughs> stories, <laughs> you want to be able to point to the fridge yeah, that well, you claimed you went through. You never go through. I was going to say they never went through the same thing twice, but they did go through the wardrobe like 17 times. Yeah, it was a reliable Lucy portal. Was just. In and out. Yeah. They only went in twice, actually. Yeah. Three times? I can't remember. Oh, a few no, times in the first, in Lion the Witch. Lucy went thrice. Yeah. Edmund went twice. Yeah. The other bitches yeah. went. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have I ever sworn on this podcast? How did they get back in, in Prince Capsicum? The second one? Yeah. They it's, they're, in the tra- they're in the train station. Yeah, yeah. yeah and he does the um horn oh. that summons them. Like, who you need to Narnia. Yeah. And the train station just turns into a beach. It was the and horn of here And the third now. one, in, you remember the... The third one is the picture on the wall. Yeah, picture on the wall, yeah. And it turns into the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So only in the line that which they, in the wardrobe yeah. do they go wardrobe action. The first one is the only one that makes sense. Yeah, although to be fair, and people will correct you on this, that is the second book. So What? Line the Witch in the Wardrobe is the second book. I think so, but I could be wrong about that. What happened that. to the first? Um, I only have read Line Witch in the Wardrobe, so I just thought that was the first. I feel like there's one before it, but I could be wrong. Hey, hey, I'll, no, I feel like I've heard that as well. Like Magician's nephew, but maybe no, it was. I haven't. What happened to the first? Was it just not interesting? It's, it's like a super prequel. Like, it's, is it like this is what Narnia is? Yeah, yeah sort like of. Who, like the first half of Lord of the Rings. Like no one cares. Hundred um, percent. Look, well, we were claiming to be all business, <laughs> but we have. Uh, very Narnia rapidly, is really exciting. <laughs> really rapidly neglected business yeah, altogether. I am um, a Narnia fan. Well, I can tell. Uh, if only there were real people but that I'm we could learn about. I'm also an edgy fan. Hmm? I need to stop talking. <laughs> you go. Yes. <laughs> Joan of Arc. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Where were we? Um, so look, she's got herself battle ready. She's got her own banner. She's got some armor. She's got her mighty sword. She's slaying. Um, and everyone's on board, uh, using her as a, like a, a talisman to. to to cheer the troops up and get yeah. them motivated, M- M- turning this. Mocking Jay. Yep, they've they've made her the mocking Jay of this of this uh, war, and they've turned it from just a boring geographical conflict about who owns which land into a fully fledged religious Woo, battle. Let's go. Um, and so there's there's a real pep in the step. Quite like Narnia. Yes, exactly <laughs> like Narnia. Um, and the English and the. Oh, Burgundians, mm-hmm. uh, who are um, you know up against the Almanacs that we are on side with, the yeah. Jones Almanacs, um, uh, they're a little bit fractured. Um, the Siege of Orleans <laughs> is where Joan is headed to um, fly her banner first yeah. uh, to release Orleans, Orleans. from its um, from its siege. Mm-hmm. They're being held, you know, they're trapped. By the Burgundians and the English. Yeah. The Burgundians have been like, I don't even know why we're here. And they've sort of drifted off. They're yeah. not really, the heart's not They're in They're not it. united as a team. And uh, to be fair, the English are also like, I can't remember why yeah, we have on? this city under siege. So yeah. there's not a lot of motivation from Half that side. Not in it. And uh, Jones come in, motivating the troops willy-nilly. Mm. Um, and the powers that be, there's the bastard of Orleans who's running the show, oh, who's, yeah, who snuck um, Joan in, Jean Fine. de Dumois. Uh, and all the generals there, they're trying to keep Joan in the dark. Yeah. They're trying to be like, yeah, yeah, it's great that you're here, but don't be trying to make decisions. Mm. But in the meantime, Joan is getting in scrape after scrape. Yeah. Uh, it's giving Nancy Wake a little bit. Wherever there's a battle, Joan is there. Yeah. Like stabbing, like yeah. arrows, like whatever she does, punching dudes in faces, yeah. whatever. And everyone's like, mm. did you notice Joan is doing some heavy lifting? <laughs> yeah. Like she's not just uh, here for the show. She's getting her hands dirty mm-hmm. uh, and people are talking. Not here for show, here for go. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's the only rhyme I could think of. Um, and so people are starting to come to her and be like, what do you reckon we should do next, yeah. Joan? You've got a good head on your shoulders. You know about battles. Yeah. What, got any advice? So <laughs> she's starting to get climb up the rank of respect mm-hmm. um, the hard way, doing it the Definitely. hard way. Um, and But the generals have decided it's time to go on the offensive and there's a fort – uh, an outlying Bastille, Saint Saint Loup, the Saint Saint Loup, the fort, 
Uh, nearby, yucky. Uh, that the English are hanging out in. And they I just, hate that word. And on May the 4th, may the 4th be with them, Oh, they've decided to go on the attack. Didn't tell Joan about it. Didn't oh, run it past perfect. Joan. Yeah, yeah. Um, Creeping up in the middle of the night. Quick, guys, let's get out of here. They've just sent a little, a little, you know, some, yeah. some fellas. Jeremy Johns will be with them, I reckon, because... He got left outside. Jeremy Johns is the anti-slayer, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't quite invented. remember. It was last year that <laughs> we <laughs> That's true. We haven't recorded in a year. So That's true. I'm not really sure. Um, so Jeremy. Oh Johns, yeah, my terrible name <laughs> on the spot. He's he's probably out there fighting, uh, attacking Saint Loop. Um, For sure. Because he's left at left at wit's end. Yeah. He at a loose end, not wit's end. <laughs> he had no wits to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> um, and when Joan finally hears about it. She's like, what's going on today? Any any good battles that I can get involved with? And yeah. they're like, oh, no. Nah. I mean, we are attacking that fort over there. And she's like, hang on, what now? Are you kidding? And so she is like, hops on horse, <laughs> says, Jay Metz, Bertrand de Poulanger, saddle up. Mm. Uh, it's battle time. Period. Uh, and so they ride out. That's where we left them, I believe, on the 4th of May, riding out to St. Loop to check on how the battle's going. Uh, she arrived as the Almanac soldiers were retreating. Oh, so they are yeeting after a failed assault. Jeremy Johns uh, got no. Put, if you're putting Jeremy Johns in charge, you're going to fail. Yeah, well, I think they thought. Well, he came here with Joan. Yeah, he must so, know stuff. She's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, so we'll put him in charge. Surely yeah. good things will happen. Um, First mistake. Yeah, mocking Jay by default. Yeah, uh, but no, but, but he, a man. He's mocking Jay does not stand for Jeremy Johns. Either. You wish you wish it did. It's it's J for Joan, not yeah. J for Jeremy. And exactly. that's what they've learned during yeah. this battle. Yeah. Uh, and so they've gone out there. They said, Jeremy Johns, what should we do? He's like, I don't know. I thought someone else <laughs> like, was in charge. Attack or whatever. Uh, and then he's like, how about we go back? And yeah. they're like, I guess, retreat. Yeah. Uh, so they failed and Joan gets there. Uh, and as they're retreating, her appearance rallies the troops. Obviously. <laughs> Everyone's like, Jeremy's stoked. He's like, ah, oh, someone yeah. is in charge. Yeah. <laughs> it's the real mocking Jay. Uh, Jay for Joan. Uh, and so they have gone, well, let's get to it. Uh, and they attacked again and absolutely slayed that nice. fortress. St. Luke falls. They have taken it. Yeah. The English yeet. Uh, St. Joan, uh, Joan of Arc, mocking Jay, just mm-hmm. is like, we did it. Nice. I knew we could. Great day. May nice. the fourth be with us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then on the 5th of May, the very next day, mm-hmm. um, they're all excited, but no no combat occurs. What, what is the 5th of May? It's, that is giving a date that uh, I should know. Um, I don't know. It's the fifth, May is the 5th month. Maybe that's, Maybe that's what's doing it. Yeah. It was giving like this is a day in my mind. Mm. Also, it's probably someone's I birthday. Have an, that I you had know. another thought before. Mm. The word. Re- retreat, yeah, like retreat. Yes, that's such a good word. Oh, retreat. Yeah, give me your treats. Give me treats again. <laughs> yeah, retreat. Yeah, it's a weird word to yeah. apply to running away from yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. I was like, just thinking that. Like, it's why has it got like negative connotations almost? So we do need to look into the uh, etymology of the word. You were going to say entomology? No, I was going to uh, say the. I was going to say something completely wrong. Uh, like the birth. I was going to say the birth of the word. <laughs> I mean, that still gives. <laughs> yeah, like, no. that's it, basically. Uh, so we need to figure out because that's got to come from somewhere. Yeah. It, it makes no sense when you think about it. R- retreat. <gasps> it's a, I, I was just thinking that I like the word. Anyways. Um, so they've taken St. Loop and then on the 5th of May, no combat occurs because it is Ascension Thursday. What's that? It's a feast day, which I had to look oh, into. Let's, go eat, let's eat. It's, let's retreat. Um, <laughs> it's 100 days after Easter. Um, what? Uh, is that a real celebration? Yeah, it was. It was can really we, big back in this day. Can we celebrate 100 days after Easter and like just have like a big feast? I mean, we can. Just like have a dish? Yeah, have an Ascension Day dish. I'm into it. Yeah, we, we need to make up our own sort of backstory to it because we don't want it to I be mean, too oh, no, Ascension-y. Yeah. No, let's <laughs> just 100 days after Easter have a dinner. I guess, are they relating this to, maybe, uh, maybe this is when... Uh, because Jesus obviously dies in Easter. Maybe 100 days after Easter is when he ascended to heaven. Maybe that's what happened. Did, oh, because he Cause, died again. Well, he didn't die. He ascended. He, Isn't that dying? No. Nah, oh. nah, nah. When you, when you so, ascend, okay. you've... You, okay, so he actually died he d- and then he came back. He came back uh, and then Easter he Sunday, ascended. And then 100 days after that on Ascension Thursday, he's like, Ascension Thursday? I've got a great idea what I can do right now. <laughs> Whoop, up he goes. And everyone's like, he's got wires on for sure. Uh, and he's like, he's gone very high. Okay. And then off into heaven he went, never to be seen again. So, so logically, um, I don't know, we didn't need to get into the logistics <laughs> of Jesus. You need to understand this before we can move on. 
<laughs> Who was Jesus? <laughs> Jesus was. A- <laughs> Anyways, yeah, hundred days. Oh, that'll be the ultimate Easter. youngster guy. We'll do Jesus. Uh, let's do Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he was young. Let's read the Bible. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, the what a fun, what a fun season <laughs> yeah. that will be. Um, so I've never read the Bible. Yeah, you've read the Bible. Oh, man, we could get this done. I mean, we could find a Bible. There's, <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> oh, mate, I've got, I've probably got, I'm probably got one on me, and I don't even realize. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Ascension Thursday, no no battles. Yeah. They're like, I mean, we're in a good position. We've I mean, taken this fort. We could probably take that one over there as well, but let's stop because yeah. it's feast. We've yeah. got some food. Jeremy Johns has whipped up some brownies. They tasted oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they burnt ass. He used salt instead of sugar. Oh, classic. <laughs> Jeremy Johns. <laughs> Everyone's like, do not try Jeremy Johns' brownies. <laughs> Get him out of the kitchen. They are terrible. <laughs> um, and so during, but during feast day, she's not allowed to fight. All right. Yeah. But what she does instead is she dictates another letter to the English. Uh, You will remember she'd already written one. Admin. Admin. One bit of trash. She'd written some trash talk to the English saying, get out. I'm not not God's. It's like her like tweeting. I'm God's, I'm God's, you know, virgin. Yeah. And I'm coming to get (laughs) you. And and she sent that off. Yeah. Then dropped the mic. Imagine getting that letter. And and being like, ooh. Yeah. And so this time she sent a follow-up letter. Uh, on Imagine feast day, I do that right now, and I send I send you a letter. Go on, like, watch out. Talk That's the only way I communicate with you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start I wonder why you got so much. Why have you got so much beef with me? I don't. All of a sudden, well, because I'm talking to you. Yeah, so I'm just using you as an example. I know, example. but if I got that letter, I'd be like, "What did I do? <laughs> Gosh, she seemed normal on the podcast." <laughs> um, so she dictates another letter to the English, warning them to leave France. And this time, instead of just delivering it by normal, uh, you know... Owl! By owl. No, no. no oh. she, this time... <laughs> well, essentially, close as she could get to the owl technology, she had it tied to a... Pigeon! An arrow. Oh. And she, what? And she fired... And, she, and it was fired by a crossbowman, fires it into the English camp. Okay, so they're close to the English camp. I guess so. Oh, oh, Unless she, I got some mad technology. Well, the crossbowman had to ride for a while or something. <laughs> anyway. I mean, isn't that normal letters... The yeah, but them? normally the the man would deliver it all the way to oh, them. Yeah. This time he stops short yeah. and he fires a crossbow. Wouldn't that be dangerous? Yeah. Oh, you don't shoot the messenger. That's is, that like sh- a, is that a law? Like, <laughs> yeah, don't shoot the messenger. Is that like um, respect? Yeah, I guess they've got like a like a special feather or something yeah. or a banner. So I'm just bringing I'm you delivering the mail. Like I'm not here to fight for real. And it must be even harder when you're delivering the mail via crossbow. crossbow. Yeah. They must be really wanting to shoot you. But he's like, I'm, the, I'm just a messenger. Yeah. And they're like, well. Don't shoot a crossbow at us, messenger. You're giving real crossbow vibes right now. Uh, so anyway, she's delivered another bit of smack talk okay. via crossbow this time, really hammering it home. That's how she spends her I ascension day. I reckon they day. put like like some wings on the arrow mm. and like maybe like a like a mask of an owl. owl. Yeah, just to like owl know, it up. Yeah, slay a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but then the very next day, sixth of May. This is not ascension day, not a feast day. Nah, it's battle day. It's just Monday. Um, so they resumed their offensive, capturing Saint Jean Le Blanc. Whoa, is that a place? Which is another little uh, fort nearby, mm-hmm. which the English had deserted. So that was hardly a battle. They uh, just kind of, they they're just like, walk. oh, is, they're like, we're coming. Yeah. And they're like, there's no one here. Yeah. All right, well, we took it. <laughs> it's a victory. Still so a victory. Is that where they send the arrow? Uh, I'm hoping not. He just. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pick it, it off the wall. I was going to say, throw the crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> he shot the. Yeah, crossbow. into an empty, deserted yeah. fort. <laughs> um, but maybe that's why they ran. Yeah. Maybe they read the message oh, and yeeted. Oh, good thinking. Um, and so then, so they've taken another fort. Then the Armagnac commanders wanted to stop. The generals are like, all right, good job. Two <laughs> forts down. Yeah. Let's rest. Let's consolidate. We'll dig some trenches. We just rested on Ascension Day. Uh, and then Joan has gone, rest. Um, rest is for the week. Actually. Exactly what she said. Rest yeah. is for the week. She's like, let's get on it. Let's launch an assault on Le. Augustine, Whoa. which is an English fortress built around a monastery. This is big. What's this is big. a monastery? It's like where the monks live. Oh, yeah. yeah um, I'm familiar. Um, she's like, why rest now when we've got momentum? We've got palpable momentum. Saying, yeah. They're running scared. Yeah. Uh, we stop now. They're going to get their wits about them. They're going to form plans. Exactly. We've got, them, we've got them on the back foot. Let's if, get going. If you're on the attack and you're winning, keep attacking. That's what Joan is saying. defense... Never wins. That's right. Um, and so, what's going on? So I don't know. 
so they do it. They do it. So Joan revs them up, okay. and they take that. They take that monastery by force, uh, and they're like, "We did it, okay. Joan. You were right. Yeah. Well done." Then after its capture, the Almanac commanders wanted to consolidate their gains again. Mm-hmm. They're like, "Oh, fool! Lucky we listened to Joan because this worked out great." But yeah. now it's definitely now time it's, yeah. <laughs> to rest. And Joan said, um, "Are you silly? Have we learnt nothing?" Yeah. What do we do when we want to rest? We don't rest. Yeah. When we when we uh, when we we're winning rest on Ascension Day next year. Yeah, we've got a whole year yeah. <laughs> to just attack, attack, attack. Winners keep winning. That's what I'm saying. Um, and so they're like, "Are you sure we can't keep pushing our luck?" And yeah. they're like, "It's not luck. God's on our side." Yeah, she's like, "The Saint Michael literally told me to." Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they're like, "Well, I guess." <laughs> um, um, so Joan has argued once again to continue the offensive. So on the morning of the 7th of May, the Armagnacs attack the main English stronghold, Le Torel. Le Torel. Uh, this is the main English area. This is, you oh, this know, is you're not mucking slang. around. There's yeah. a lot of English folk. Um, so she's like, this is it. This is going to mm. make us. Let's go. So Joan leads the attack to this English stronghold. I have a bad feeling. Joan, struck by an arrow. Between Where? the neck and the shoulder. Oh, that's ouch. While holding her banner in the trench on the south bank of the river. Struck down. So, like, dead? Uh, Almost. I mean, they've they taken her. I mean, and that's got to hurt the troops. I mean, back in those days. The troops were nothing. like, oh, she was the one who was really, like, motivating us. Yeah. And she has just been absolutely necked by an arrow. Like, even if it doesn't... Like kill you, like it's gonna get infected, surely. Uh, yeah, because she's in the muddy, muddy riverbanks. Yeah. Uh, so they take her back. Then. They take her back. They patch her up. They're like, Joan, good fight. Get out of here. She's like, Get out of here. No, no, no. She's <laughs> like, Just a flesh wound. Yeah, just arrow a, in the neck. A scratch. <laughs> she's like, What a scratch. Takes, a scratch. Takes more than that. Yeah. To get me out of this battle, we are winning. Yeah. Uh, so she just puts a bloody band aid on. Oh, yeah. She's like, no Rip. Need. Uh, what I will say, uh, for anyone wondering, Joan does not remove the arrow from the wound uh, by herself. When she gets struck with the arrow, she's like, wait, yeah. leave the arrow not in. Not like the silly movies no. and the TV shows. She's like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this arrow in until I get medical attention. Yeah. That is the wise and sensible thing to do. And that is, Young ago, I forgot the word I was going to use. <laughs> um, basic medical training, I was, I, 101. I can't get ordained out of my head. Young ago, um... We, we say yes to that. <laughs> what is that word? Yolks ago. Yolks. What's the word? I don't know. Yolks ago. Fact. That is Yolks no, ago. Like we like that message. Yolks ago. Uh, for slay. That like is... like retweet except an actual word. That is. <laughs> <laughs> that is Yolks ago. Oh, it was like it was on the tip of my tongue, and as I started saying it, it left my mind, and ordained came into my mind. Oh no! <laughs> what we'll do word. is we'll move on, and it'll it'll. Oh, I'm so And bad. it'll occur to you. Yeah. It'll occur to you. That is a that's. Um. So she leaves the arrow in. She goes. She gets yeah. treatment. They remove the arrow safely, and they whack a band aid on. Yeah. And, and then they're like, "Let's get you back." Put some and, stitches and in. And they clean the wound. They they clean the wound, sterilize it, the, and then they put the band aid. Put the band aid on. Yeah. They do everything right, and then they're like, "Let's get you back, and we'll <laughs> so, patch you up properly." So first, first aid podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just want to make sure that if anyone yeah. is attacking an English stronghold it, and does get shot yeah. by an arrow in the neck, do not remove that. As arrow. someone who just had an infection, yeah, I just I'm I'm here for the others. Yeah, because you got shot in the foot by an arrow. I did get shot, shot and in you the removed that arrow by yourself like an idiot. Yeah, um, and then I died. <laughs> yeah. And so while they're trying to get her to go back uh, for some proper medical treatment, she says, nah, this is good enough. Send me back out there. Mm-hmm. So she returns to encourage the final assault that is indeed successful. They take the fortress, the English retreat from Orleans on the 8th of May, ending the damn siege. Let's go. So look, uh, time and time again, the, the the powers that be on the Almanac side tried to say, that's good, we've done enough for today, let's rest. Mm-hmm. And time and time again, Joan said, rest is for the week, mm-hmm. we rest, we lose, let's go, go, go. And she was willing to back it up with, yeah. a, with an arrow to the neck, mm-hmm. uh, didn't let it stop her. No. And they ended the 8th of May um, with the English uh, fleeing the scene Get and Orleans liberated. Let's go. Who is to thank? Not Jeremy Johns. His brownies almost ruined the whole day. <laughs> half the half the troops had diarrhea because of those brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Joan knew better than to have the um, yeah. have the brownies, so she was fighting fit. Uh, so <laughs> not, not Jeremy. Jo- Jeremy Jones is not the one. Jeremy Jones. He's Jeremy Jones now. <laughs> I've, I've evolved his name from Jeremy John to Jeremy Jones. It just feels right. <laughs> 
John. No. Oh, no, some people do. Not Jeremy Jones. No, that's right. <laughs> He's trying to rebrand after the brownie incident. Everyone's like, Jeremy John makes the worst brownies. And Jeremy, who's this guy? That's Jeremy Jones. He makes probably good brownies. Um, so hats off to Mocking Jay for Joan. She has... Jeremy, pre- wait, wait. Jeremy Jones of Art. <laughs> Jeremy Jones of Art. Oh, yeah. Maybe he can't be Jeremy Jones. I think that's why he started doing it. <laughs> it's going to get confusing. But I like confusion. Yeah. Ah, Jeremy Jones it is. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I can only imagine that that whole time Jay Metz and Bertrand de Poulanger were side by side with uh, Joan. I reckon Bertrand de Poulanger is a doctor, He's, yeah. He pulled the arrow out. I reckon Joan, Joan, because Joan's a bit of a goer, she probably tro- went to pull the arrow out, and Bertrand went, No, 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 oh, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> You must never <laughs> remove. No, no, because he doesn't speak that much, so he just said, no. no. <laughs> and everyone knew what he meant. And Joe's like, of course. Jay Metz, like, translated. Because ah. they, like. Leave it in, Joe. Leave yeah, it in. Uh, he, he heard the no, and he mm. was like, oh, because he was, he was like, rocking to yeah. some music. The speaker, he got, he brought the He's speaker. got the battle, battle yeah. tunes going. <laughs> he was elsewhere, yeah. and he heard the no, and he was like, he spoke? Yeah. Yeah. Must be serious. Yeah, yeah. Joan's about to do something. Yeah. You know, yeah, ill yeah. advice. <laughs> yeah. All right, 100%. That's, that's definitely what, what happened. happened. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, hats off to Bertrand de Poulanger for yeah. his well timed no. <laughs> and to Jay Metz for being there when needed yeah. to translate um, official Bertrand de Poulanger yeah. uh, medical advice. Mm-hmm. And, and to Joan for being willing to listen. Yeah. Uh, because she, you know, she knows when to listen mm. and she knows when to ignore advice. Don't listen to the generals. Idiots. Don't listen to Jeremy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Never. Have a brownie, guys. No. No. <laughs> that's, the, that's the other time that yeah. Bertrand de Boulanger said no. <laughs> um, yeah. So, look, it's all. They came to liberate Orleans and, and Orleans he, is damn well liberated. Let's go. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Till we see the sun. Um. They've seen Joan fight the good fight. They've seen her struck down by an arrow, come back bigger and stronger than ever. She must be sent from the gods, right? I mean, if she, even if she isn't, yeah. you'd be starting to be like, maybe she is. Yeah. I mean, even if I didn't believe, I'd probably a little bit Because when she got now. struck down by the arrow, you'd be like, oh, maybe uh, she wasn't sent by God. I'd be down with it. But then she came back and you're like, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty sent by God-like, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That's got big sent by God energy. Exactly. Uh, so hit by an arrow in the neck as well. As well. That's what I'm saying. There's some arteries in there. Yeah. Like if she was struck in the foot and she came back, yeah. you'd be like, fair enough. I'd come back from an arrow to the yeah. foot. I couldn't walk. Really. Bit of a limp. Get on the horse. Yeah. Whatever. I'd ride right on into town. Yeah. <laughs> with, a bandage, with a bandage on my foot. Yeah. Um, but struck through the neck, you're like, well, she's done for. Yeah. Uh, so well, when she which, comes back. Which neck? Which neck? Which side of the neck mm, was couldn't it? Couldn't tell you. Was it, it close to the heart? Like, mm, was it almost heart? It just says. Um, by an arrow between the neck and shoulder while holding her banner in the trench. She, she was she right in the thick of things. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. Uh, oh, because you, you're also holding she's the got horse a, mm, saddle. Yeah, look, I couldn't tell you. Um, the horse saddle exist back then? Or did you just ride the horse? I reckon they did. I don't know. It was the main way of getting around. I yeah. reckon they probably yeah, had sure. sorted out uh, saddle technology by then. Yeah. In or fact, I'm 100% convinced it was just they like did. Something on the horse. If they didn't, so that- shame on them. Yeah. Uh, that is, I'm going to say, all the time we've got. We've Woo. we've covered a lot. Most of it Joan of Arc related. Some of it not. Um, Whatever. That's classic. that's what you get. Yeah. <laughs> 2023. Sometimes business. Yay! <laughs> and uh, and me that, forgetting words. And that is Yonks ago. I don't know the word. Canon? No, no Yonks ago. Like we like. L- like we're saying yes to this message, <laughs> like, and we're like not, f- and it's not just fact. It's not like when, like doctors, yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> Yonks ago confirmed. Uh, oh. Maybe, maybe <laughs> doesn't feel like it. But I don't think so. No, because we're like, like, like Yonks ago, like backed up, yeah. like something like that. Like the message is already there, and we are mm. backing up the message. It feels message. like confirmed. It's not com- no because oh. it, the, it's already confirmed. <laughs> I mean, it's confirmed. <laughs> um, so, like it's confirmed that you shouldn't pull out the arrow. Yeah, sure. But and we're saying that we like that message of not pulling out. Endorse. Endorse. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. Because it sounds like ordain. Endorse. Yes. Oh. That's the one. Oh, that was tricky. We did it. Youngster, go endorse this message oh. of the. <laughs> 
I'm so glad we got closure. But do you see what I was trying to yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you now. About the don't put that, uh, don't pull out the, <laughs> do not pull out the arrow. And that's Yonks ago endorsed. Yeah. yeah all right. All right. Uh, we did oh it, guys. Oh my god, that was so scary. Whew. And we were like Joan of Arc. We, you know, we got, we had to go away and come back to fully have our victory. You know, halfway through, we got struck by the arrow of doubt. In this podcast? Yeah, when we were trying to figure out indoors. Oh, yeah, I'm I, don't, crea- I don't remember. I'm, I'm painting a picture. <laughs> I got, remember way I back didn't in know, the- Yeah, I didn't know what, what we were talking about. Let me take you back. <laughs> you were trying to think of the word endorsed and you failed. As if you were struck by the arrow of confusion. Ooh. And we could not get over it. We had to take you back, patch yeah. you up. And we came back at the end of the podcast and we had victory yeah. over the word endorsed. Much like Joan of Arc. Exactly. Um, uh, I think the metaphor stands. The analogy is true. Mm-hmm. The simile is there. The homily is wrong. The, the, <laughs> homily, the, am, the anagram is, is off. The, the acronym is struggling. The initialism is Keep never, going. In, never, Keep going, never, in, never in play. But we have got through a podcast um, <laughs> for the, the first time this year. And I think you can say we are victorious. Gonna... Orleans is no, no longer... No longer in English hands, um, though it never was, to be fair. It was under siege. Um, so, we've learned something, no, surely. I've not passed the initialism. <laughs> was never in play. <laughs> I'm putting that on a mug, on a shirt. <laughs> the initialism was never in play. Uh, the, um, Quality quote there, Rick. I know. And never in play is not an initialism. Uh, it, NIP. <laughs> Nip. <laughs> That's an <Yeah>. acronym. <laughs> Oh, the irony. Anyway, uh, let's see where our, <laughs> our easily distracted minds take us in the next episode of Yonks Ago. Just hit the, it jumped the octave. Yeah, and why bit. not? Yeah. 2023. Woo! Musically astute. I don't know anything else to say. And that's Yonks Ago endorsed. <laughs> I you to end it. Oh, well, I, I was, well I'm never going to. I'm going to. Man, we we are never going to. And they lived happily ever after. The end. And that's yonks ago (laughs) indoors. No, no, your way was better. Uh, We should just just ended it after that. (laughs) After the indoors. Let's end it awkward.